Hi guys, in this PowerPoint tutorial, we're going to learn how to make this cool effect for your presentation intros on any PowerPoint version. Let's get started. Insert a rectangle. Next, insert a text box. Format the text by using a bold font with a large font size. I'll be using the Thunder Extra Bold font. The link's in the description to download. Align the text in the center of the slide. I'll just paste the characters and the lines so the text is aligned properly. Select the rectangle first. Then select the text, add to the Merge Shapes option, then click Subtract. Format the shape by changing the color and removing the outline. Here's a cool tip for you. Change the shape to a graphic by cutting and pasting it as a vector graphic. This will enable us to use the finished animated design as a template by changing the graphic to another graphic of the same dimension. You get to see that later in the tutorial. Now, insert your picture. You can use any of these options to insert your picture. I'll just paste the picture that I copied from Google. Then send the picture behind. Now, let's add animations to the shape to create the zoom effect as seen at the start of the video. First, add a Go Shrink animation. Open the animation pane, then enter the effect options. Customize the animation by increasing the size of the effect. Then drag this slider to the max to get the smooth start. Click OK. Let's check it out on full screen. As you can see, the shape grows, but we are not seeing the picture. And we can solve this by adding a motion with a grow effect to be able to see the picture. So, add a motion path animation. Then change the effect direction to the left. Here you can see the motion length. Click on the end point, hold shift, then drag the end point of the animation, just like this. Ensure the animation starts with the previous one. Enter the effect options, then drag this slider to the max to get a smooth start. Okay. Let's check it out on the full screen. As you can see, we are not getting the complete picture. So let's adjust the end point again. All right, everything is looking good. To get the effect in reverse, let's add another go shrink animation to the object. Enter the effect options. Customize the animation by reducing the size of the effect. Then drag the slider to the max to get a smooth end. Next, to get the motion in reverse, let's add another motion path animation. Change the effect direction to the right. Ensure the animation starts with the previous one. Enter the effect options. Then drag this slider to the max to get a smooth end. Now, click on the motion length to adjust the start and end points to match the previous animation in reverse. So, hold shift and drag the green start points to this point. Then repeat the same for the red end points. Hold shift, then drag the end point of the animation, just like this. Alright, let's check it out. Everything is looking good, except for the fact that we can't repeat these effects continuously in the slideshow view. To fix this, we will need to trigger these animations on the click of an object. So, let's insert a rectangle to use as a trigger. Select all the animations. Add to the animations tab, then trigger on click of the rectangle. Next, let's make the rectangle invisible by removing the outline and increasing the transparency to 100%. Let's check it out. 
As you can see, with the click of the invisible rectangle, we get this grow effect. If we click again, we get the shrink effect. And with the help of the animation trigger, we can click repeatedly to loop the animations until the end of time. All right, just like I mentioned earlier, let me show you how to use this slide as a template for other cool presentation intros. Remember, we converted the shape into a graphic. So I'll just repeat the initial step to get another graphic to replace this with. Let's insert a new slide. Insert a rectangle to cover the slide. Then insert a text box. I'll use a different bold font just to show you how you can use this trick for different presentation topics or intros. Align the text box on the slide. Select the rectangle first, then select the text, add to the mesh shapes option, then click subtract. Format the shapes by changing the color and removing the outline. Change the shape to a graphic by cutting and pasting it as a vector graphic. Copy the graphic to the clipboard. Head back to the first slide, then change the graphic. You can also do the same with pictures. You can use any of these sources to change your pictures. I'm still going to use the clipboard. All right, let's check it out. As you can see, everything works as it should. If you're using the more recent version of PowerPoint, that is PowerPoint 2019 and above, we can easily accomplish this effect with a morph transition. Let me demonstrate. So, duplicate the slide, select all the objects, then remove all the animations. Delete this invisible rectangle as it's not needed for this. Duplicate the slide, select the graphic, then format the graphic by increasing the dimension. Ensure the graphic is aligned on the slide. Drag the graphic until the picture is completely visible. Select both slides. Then apply the morph transition. There you have it. That's an easy way to achieve the same effect with the morph transition. However, I prefer the animated way to using the morph transition because I can customize as much as I can. You've got both options at your disposal. Kindly comment on the one you prefer. Also, like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for more PowerPoint awesomeness. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.